So today's uh, video is about nervous habits in children. Lots of parents bring their children to me with uh, nervous habits related that are fear-based, some are not fear-based. And what do I mean by that? So fear-based ones are nail biting. That's the classic. And often you'll get children that are they're biting their nails the day before they have to go to school or back to school. It's a classic one. Or they're nervous about a, an event that's coming up like a sports game or who knows, it could be anything. Things, all sorts of things can trigger, trigger children into being afraid. But nail biting is, is something that, you know, you can almost reason with them. But there are, there are other nervous habits that, um, like sort of almost like tics, that are beyond reasoning. And so you might get a child who's excessively blinking, or a child who's constantly scratching their nose, or wriggling their nose, or um, moving their head in a funny way or uh, standing on one leg a lot and you can say it to them but they can't really seem to stop it and sometimes they're not even aware of it. And I wrote a blog post called um, Nervous Habits on my website TonyGalvin.com if you want to go and look at it some more details about this particular one. But this story describes really well actually how the kinesiology process works or, and, and how it can affect the child. So this one child came to me with a number of different things going on. He had fear of the dark, he was um, he was bedwetting. He had a lot of nervous system stress. He was a little bit uncoordinated. And he's a little bit of dyslexia too. So when I did an assessment on him, uh, I saw that his moral reflex was retained, which usually means there's a little bit of fight or flight going on in the nervous system. The body's a little bit unsettled, right? And to me, nervous habits are sort of, I mean, if you just look at it in a very practical point of view, there's something going on in your body where your body's acting in a way that's out of your conscious control. So it's jumpy or jittery. So it's not as settled as it should be. And the reflexes are sort of part of that jumpy system. And if you can calm them down, generally, things change. So <clears throat> what he was doing was he was excessively licking his bottom lip. And he had a ridge, a red ridge under his lip that was marked because of that. And so what, we, what I did for him was I worked on him sort of in a general way to calm down his body. And he came back to me a week later. And I noticed immediately that the... the ridge under his lip was gone and I watched him for a while and I noticed that he never licked it. He never licked his bottom lip. And I said it to his mom and I said, look, he's, uh, he's not doing that anymore. She said, yeah, he's not. And, and also they reported he's generally was less calm. He was, he was now more calm. And when I asked her about that, she said, yeah, it's definitely like something that's gone away. And I asked the child about it and I said, you know, do you remember stopping doing it? And he said, no. And he, I said, does it feel better now that it's gone? He said, no. So basically, he hadn't noticed it going away. And that was really nice. He felt a little bit calmer as a result of the, the treatment. His mother noticed that he was a lot calmer. But immediately, this nervous habit just dissolved. It seemed to just stop. So what you're seeing there, I think, is that this ridge under the lip is really just a symptom of a background stress. And when we worked on his overall stress, his nervous system stress, and we calmed him down, this habit went away. And... What I've been finding from working with lots of children that have these problems is that when you do an overall calming of the nervous system, the habits tend to go down. So instead of like trying to target the habit, you're targeting the you're working on what's going on in the background, and lo and behold, you get you kind of get a double win because the child is generally calmer and happier, and the nervous habits tend to just recede into the background as they're supposed to. Um, the brain is supposed to work that way when you're meant to be able to inhibit these things as your higher brain develops. But the more the survival brain is overstimulated, uh, which is where the primitive reflexes come in, the more those nervous system habits are going to manifest. So that was a fascinating one for working on that kid. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that um, further on. There's going to be more uh, posts about uh, the reflexes coming up. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, you'll get those alerts please subscribe i'd be delighted if you did just to boost the the views and if you have any queries send me an email i'd be delighted to talk to you see you soon